Okay, I was going to do a short video. Uh, be pretty short anyway. Um, I had to shoe my car because it was about ready to throw a shoe. Uh, bought new tires today on the front because the front end. I put a transmission in this car. And when I put everything back together, I had to take it completely apart, everything. Uh, it's a pain in the butt to put a transmission in a car like this. But after I put everything together, I must have put something together a little bit off because it was wiring the inside of the tire. Uh, this back one is next on the list to get replaced. As you can see, or I think you can see, it's worn toward the inside. This one was on the front. I moved it to the back because it had worn it like that. And I don't like a bad tire on the front especially. The ones I put on the front had wore all the way down to the wire in no time. It didn't take them any time at all. And I had tires that had wire hanging out of them. Now I got brand new tires on it. I just went and bought these today, and I don't want them to wear out. So, I'm going to do a uh, front end alignment with a string. I was going to show how I do it. Maybe this might help some people out. Okay, what you basically do, you get a string that's long enough to go all the way around the car. And what I did, I just tied it to the plastic there. Ran it down, around... The wheels, notice it's not touching the body anywhere. It's only touching the wheels, the tires. See, it doesn't actually touch the rim. It just misses the rim. As you can see, of course, this one being the first one, of course it's touching the tire. The next one is barely touching that tire. Now, when you go up here, this is how I straightened it first to check my alignment. And it was way out. I've already done some adjustment. And as you can see, it's touching both, but it's pulled tight against it. So you can't really tell unless you pull it off of it and you watch it when it comes off and make sure that both sides of the string touch at the same time when you release pressure on it. That means this wheel is completely straight with the back wheel. Now, on the other side, of course the string wraps all the way around. Comes around this tire, same thing, exactly the same. Comes all the way up to the front. Now, this one is where I'm going to have to make my adjustment. This is the tire that was wearing out, or this wheel. As you can see, it's touching here. It's touching tightly, too. Back here, it's not touching. See how you can do that and it vibrates? That means, of course, it's not touching. It's almost touching, but not quite. Now, that means that this tire has got to turn in. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. The tie rod end, no, you're not going to be able to see it. The tie rod end, you just have to loosen the bolt, and which I already have loosened. Let me reach up in here. And I'll turn it a little bit more. And what you're really looking for, I'll show the string. I'm watching the string, but I didn't have the camera on it. Okay, now it's trying to touch a little bit. Okay, one thing you have to keep in mind. Anytime you make an adjustment, you should move the car. I hate to untie everything. 
But just for the sake of argument, you know, let's say I've already moved the car back. I took the string off, moved the car back about 10 foot and moved it back where it's at. Okay, that would release the pressure that you have on it. Anytime you make an adjustment, you have to do that. You have to move the car and then move it back. Now, I'll do that after the video, but um, all you do is make sure that it's lined up just like the other one is. Make sure that everything is touching, which I think it is. I mean, it it is going to be touching, as you can tell. When you touch it, it doesn't shake as much. Well, it's against the tire. And that just came from me shaking the car a little bit. So it is pretty much straight. Now, that has your tires straight with the rear end. And the thing is, to handle a little bit better, it's supposed to be towed in just a little bit. And you have to check your specifications to see how much tow in that your car normally has. I, I'm probably just going to give it an extra turn or two and call it good. Maybe about another turn and that's it. And I'm going to tighten everything down and I'm going to call it good. But that is an easy and quick way to align your front end without having to pay some big shock a whole bunch of money. And that will save you money on your tires also. If your front end is out of alignment, not only is it dangerous, this car was dangerous as it could be on a wet road. Uh, if you go around the curve on a wet road and you turn the wheel, you may as well have just kept the wheel straight because it doesn't do anything. Now, it'll handle better, I guarantee you, and I won't be wearing those new tires out. So, that's my little two cents worth of information for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps somebody. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. I'll try to answer any questions that you have. Uh, thank you for watching. Okay, I wanted to clarify something. What I was doing while I was adjusting, see this nut right here? This is the tie rod end. This goes to your steering box right there. It's got a rack and pinion steering box on it. Now, in order to adjust this, you have to loosen this nut just a little bit. Loosen it up, turn it a couple of turns, whatever. Then you'll go right here. This is shaped like a nut. It's a half inch. You put your wrench on it, and you twist it and adjust it. Uh, to whether you want to go in or out. Then once you get it all adjusted in, everything checks out, then you tighten this nut back up, and you're done. That's what I wanted to clarify.